All right, good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming and hanging out at the Regal booth here for a few minutes before the show opens up. You know, isn't it great to be at the Miami Boat Show? One of those milestones that some of us have been to a number of years. You might not know, but the first year the Miami Boat Show was 1941. So I don't think any of us were here for the very first one, but Regal's been coming to the Miami Boat Show for, I think, 45 plus years. So uh, we're a 54-year-old company founded by uh, my parents, Paul and Carol Cook. We want to be a 100-year-old company. So we're in process of working on our next 50 years. So we're thankful to be doing that. And uh, part of how we look at this opportunity we have is uh, boating is such a good thing for people to participate in. Just the sport of boating does so much. We like to think of it in terms of enriching lives. So when we help families get into boating and enjoy more boating, it it adds value to their life. And that really gives us a lot of energy. So creating special boats and new ways to use these boats is additive. It keeps adding. And uh, the boat that we're introducing uh, this morning, you know, brand new uh, here at this show, does all of that. So we've been building boats for 50 some years. And as you're building boats and you're staying consistent, you, you learn things and new, learn new ways that customers enjoy boating and ways they could that they might not have imagined. And so we're continually leading into that. And that's been so much fun. And we have a great young team at Regal that's really, you know, we're into boating. You know, one of the things that if you're, we at Cindy and I, she's here somewhere, we have five kids all married, five adult kids all married. Well, getting them all to go somewhere at the same time sometimes can be, you know, challenging. However, if we say, well, we're gonna go to the Bahamas and we're gonna go boating and maybe this 50's gonna be over there, it was easier. So, you know, I think boating is one of those things that can draw families together and friends at all different walks of life right not just one lane so that's pretty cool that we get to do that so i think what we want to do today this this boat is kind of a combinate a culmination of so many things we've learned i had a chance to uh you know first off city and i are active in the sport uh, we have a 42 of our own uh, that lives in charlevoix michigan and that's a, a boating location for us to get a chance to boat we have a 38 we're using in the uh, Bahamas. So there's a couple of places we get to boat, what a privilege. And I got a chance to be on this boat, just, for, just briefly when they're doing the photo shoot over in uh, Abaco, Bahamas. So that media uh, you might have seen there is uh, beautiful pictures over there. What a fantastic running boat. This thing performs like you wouldn't believe. I mean, it, I can't wait to get you out on the boat. If you, we can't, of course, we'll look at it. Uh, we don't do that part. I think when I look at this boat, this 50 SAV, it, it just represents so much of the learnings that we've continued to have over our 50 years and then apply to this brand new flagship for Regal. We're really excited about it. And uh, Jake's gonna walk us through and take us from here. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so, you know, first things first is, is I'll give you the highlights of it. And of course, we'll invite you guys on the go to give a more detailed walkthrough, answer any questions. but. You know, I can really say it's, I don't know where he is, must have brought off somewhere, but, but Paul, my brother, who uh, leads the engineering team, they've done an amazing job and they really make it easy for the sales guys. So really, really appreciate him for doing that for me. But this is just a, a fantastic boat. Like my dad mentioned, it's really a, a culmination of uh, days spent off the water, right? And that's where we do our boat design is when we're out on the water. And I can't remember exactly who I was talking to, but I was talking to somebody yesterday and it was, you know, every day that you get to go boating, for me, will always be work. Now, it's work that I really enjoy, but it's always work. Whether it's on a Regal or some other boat, it's how do you do this? We do that a little bit better. What do I wish I had? What's missing? And that's really where this project comes from is, you know, we know that so many of our customers have a varied boating lifestyle. What they do on Saturday may not be what they do on Sunday. So it's really important for us to design a boat that accomplishes Saturday's activities same as it does Sunday. So okay, whether you're on this boat, you see it like it is today, and you know, the wings down, and you know, this is the ultimate sandbar platform right here as it sits. 
got awesome entertaining that we'll go through, but you know, then if you're like me and if you're going boating, the number one thing I want to do is wake up early and go trolling. Never can do it much because the crew I'm with, but that's what I want to do. You can, you know, easily, you know, this boat will do that so well. Um, like my dad mentioned is, you know, we have 30 SAB. We've caught tons of fish on there. It does it, you know, at an exceedingly high level. Like maybe it's not a tournament fishing boat. That's fine. I'm not a tournament fisher anyway. So, um, you know, that's really where all of this comes from is we make boats that are our customers want to use and everything we do you'll see a lot of screens on this boat we don't put these screens on the boat to say we have the most screen thought boat. we do it because we believe every single one of that is added in to the customer's experience so i think that's really important but starting here we'll kind of just walk through the boat Where's paul let's just introduce paul right. so here's paul he's mm -hmm. raising hand away come on up here paul so paul has led the uh engineering team i know there's some of the engineers still here which is a have a fantastic young team that's you know, led the development of this. Paul's also our chief operating officer, so he's got kind of multiple hats to wear there. But I think it's just uh, a fantastic uh, job that that you have led the engineer. And I see, I see some of your engineers still here. So uh, maybe just I know you can't. He lost his boat voice pitch in this boat yesterday, but we did sell two of these yesterday. Just saying. Wait, can you say something? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, certainly uh, a lot of. Uh, talent um, on the team is uh, been put into this boat. Um, you know, I think uh, when you do a product like this, you know, everybody bring their best uh, is really what makes the difference and make them extra special. And uh, the team certainly did that. Um, you know, we uh, went into this trying to check a lot of boxes, uh, which is difficult to do, um, but really think um, we did an excellent job of that on this boat. You know, can't wait for you guys to get on it. So features on it certainly uh, the next level up for anything Regals ever know. You know, for us, this boat really does uh, everything from the performance, the whole characteristic, how it runs in big waters, to the fit and finish, the premium features, to the styling. You know, we really challenge ourselves every category. And I just remember the first time walking back to uh, so what was in the test basin, we were a little test strip uh, at Regal, and, and you get to see the boat in person done. And it's just so exciting because you dream about this thing on the computer for so long and then. It checks every box and really every one of those aspects exceeded expectations. So that's been just so cool. But I'll just go ahead and invite you guys to small enough group here. We didn't put these mics down and kind of just go through it. So. Uh, you know, feel free to ask any questions or anything along the way, but we'll just, you know, kind of walk through the boat. Uh, we'll start here and then go to the bow. Um, this boat will be offered with both Mercury and Yamaha power, so you get quad 450s on this boat as well. But, you know, really have loved these triple 600s. And one of the things is just the ability to have such a large black foot. And, you know, that that's so key to, to boating and the boating lifestyle is boating your conduit to the water. So we work really hard to have nice, large swim platforms low to the water so that, you know, you have easy access into that. And beyond that, we've, for our first time on an outboard, it incorporated our power platform. So we've uh, done this for a long time on our stern drive sport boats, but now being able to bring this uh, into an outboard package where you're able to just, you know, easily get from the water onto your boat. Um, and another great feature is dogs absolutely love it. So, you know, a lot of our customers boat with dogs and that's a great feature there, but uh, you know, kind of as we continue here, a few things I'll hit, just, you know, highlighting the, you know, the usability factor of it is you got an easy place to store your stern anchor. Um, you know, again, that comes from a lot of boating. We've done a lot of stern anchoring at the beach and, you know, normally you have to drag it up into the boat, put it under your seat or something. That's nice, neatly hidden right out of the way there. So really, really nice feature. As we move forward up here, you know, as I, I mentioned earlier, it's all about the convertibility of the cockpit. So, you know, back here, you've got two uh, pressurized live wells for those of you um, you know, that, that do, you know, want to, you know, fish, that's a, absolutely a great option. And the other thing is it's really great storage. So even if you're never going to fish the boat, not a single day, perfect spot to store fenders. But, you know, as you get into this cockpit, it's just, you know, it does everything so well. So you can get a, a nice, large, high gloss teak table near. So if you are, you know, entertaining or you can, you know, flip this up for, you know, for fishing or, you know, just have it all open at the beach. If you want to have 20 people hanging out on your boat, like a lot of our customers do, um, Tyler, you want to come do some of these controls for me while I talk. You can go ahead and flip down this uh, 50 inch TV. Uh, while he does that, you know, one thing I'll mention is on the technology side, you know, everything's controlled with digital switching. So, you know, one thing that you'll see with all of these screens is they pretty well control your entire boat. Uh, so that's a really great feature on the technology side that we can talk more about. But you got 50 inch 
uh, outdoor TV that's extra bright. And we know that a lot of our customers are right here like me and sometimes Bodick conflicts with football. Those are two really things I really, really like, especially with Florida State's playing on a Saturday is now I'm able to do both of those. And a lot of times on a boat, you find yourself compromising with a small 30 inch TV. I don't know about you guys. I don't watch a 30 inch TV at my house, but now you get a huge 50 inch TV, you know, really, really cool. But as we move forward here, you know, just talking about uh, the convenience features is, you know, you've got this uh, seat, you got AC and heating, uh, you know, right there. So that's, you know, boating in Florida, you're able to, you know, always take AC whenever you get it, or certainly if you're uh, maybe in a more nor northern climate, you know, the ability to get a little bit of heat extend the boating season. A uh, couple features that I really love is both of these tubs here are have freezer plates in them, so they become cold boxes. So, you know, whether it's, you know, drinks, uh, you know, very convenient to get to, or if you're out fishing and want somewhere to keep bait, you know, these can be set to whatever temperature you want. Um, again, just very, very usable, very convenient. You've got two large fish boxes uh, here at the floor. Both of those are macerated. You know, as you continue to go through here, you know, one thing that I would encourage you guys to sit in seats. But kind of from our DNA of building boats to have a lot of seats in them, is we work really, really hard on the ergonomics and the comfort. And uh, there's a lot of companies out there that, you know, they may have the seat, but a sit quite right you know you come to regal we're gonna look at all we're gonna look at angles of backrest seat lengths of cushions we, we spend an exceeding amount of time on that and that's one of the things that i just think we knocked out of the park it's you really can't find an uncomfortable seat so as great as this boat is to show and tell you got to make sure you sit here and go and that is so comfortable oh this armrest is right at the right position and and uh you know i think that's one of the things that will set the regal apart is our customers will get on the boat and and sometimes they don't even know why they like it so much but it's because the seat's a little bit more comfortable because we're using dual density foam or got the backrest at the right angle so make sure you you get a chance to you know sit in those and enjoy those uh um, you gotta put that back up tyler um you know as we move forward here again uh for regal the the, the best selling boat we've ever had has been our 38 sav and one of those things was just having this full uh, wet bar here just the entertaining aspect of it does it so well so we knew when we were coming out with the 50 that we wanted to continue that and you know you can see here you just got an absolutely massive wet bar so uh, underneath this side you've got a, a oversized sink with a cutting board on this side you've got two grills you guys can feel free to come around you've got two refrigerators or one can be a freezer uh, you have tons of storage all throughout so you know cooking utensils or whatever it is back here you've got a 65 yeti Again, just, I mean, this really sets it apart. And then, of course, as we talked about digital switching, you've got all of your controls right here. So user-friendly. This becomes a great spot to congregate, to hang out. People love it. You're underneath the hard top. You're out of the sun. One thing we know is customers a lot of time are looking to be out of the sun, not in the sun. And that's one of the things that people really, really love. Moving forward, of course, you know, one thing that's so popular is the sleigh seating is again from using the 38 sav we saw a lot of times where this is where people will be sitting right here you're up high great view and it really is but once we started using this boat we noticed nobody's sitting on the wet bar anymore because these silly seats you know really are so comfortable again they're high up they're all on electric actuators here so one of the things that's you know really nice is from an entertaining aspect they will lay completely down but then, of course, uh, you know, if you're, you know, maybe out fishing and running back or just taking a big crew to lunch, you know, being able to have them uh, in the up position is really nice. One of the things that you'll notice is, you know, that these backrests do recline a little bit. So if you sit down here again, so important, this is so comfortable. If you want a more traditional upright seating position, you can do that. But I don't know about you guys, sometimes after a long day, a little nap on the boat as it's running, it's pretty hard to beat. And these seats, you know, really do set that apart. Uh, just going forward, you know, you got four wide home seats. One of the things that's so nice is just this giant piece of glass and everyone back here becomes a tech. And that's, uh, you know, one of the things that we've really found that, you know, our customers enjoy is there's plenty of ability to get, you know, into uh, into the outdoors on this boat. This isn't a closed in boat by any nature, but, you know, that if you, you know, if you are running somewhere, you're out of the wind here, you're able to have an easy conversation. It's not loud. You know your four ride uh four wide here and that one of the features i'm so excited about you know are these guard rests i remember my first my brother first told me about this idea and you know just thought man that is that is the best you know we run around on the boat a lot and typically when we're using the boat a lot of time it's on autopilot even if we know where we're going it's just so easy to hit auto guide and just let it take you there for it now you got all of your controls here and because this is uh, digital switching you know, whether it's changing your radio or looking at a chart or, hey, let me pull up the radar real quick. I can all see it right here. It's right at my fingertips. And 
as crazy as this may sound, you get tired of even just that little lean forward. So, you know, this is to me such a cool feature. It, it goes back to showing just how well thought through the boat is from a, a customer usability standpoint. And, you know, again, you gotta sit in these seats. You can sit right here and go, yeah, I could spend all day right here. Don't gotta go anywhere. I can change my music, whatever you want. Just so, so convenient. And of course, you, know, you pick up the armrests, uh, the bump holders here. Another thing I really love is I tend to lose stuff uh, a little bit my personality, but you know, phones, wallets, those things that you're not necessarily gonna have on you all the time it do become important when you get to the restaurant and you know you gotta pay. Such an easy, great spot where you're gonna be able to store those. Um, again, back to the usability features, you got you know four uh, wireless chargers, two on each side here, and then two up here. This is another great spot, whether you're wearing a hat or something, get it down out of the way. You know, really think the team's done a great job of that. I did storage, never have enough storage on a boat. We know that to be true. So underneath all of these, you've got storage. I'll give you my own personal story. You know, so we get to use the 38 SAV in the Bahamas a lot. And one of the things I do is I go with uh, my in-laws a lot who are, they love boating, they're not big boaters. So I get to go play captain for the week, which really is a lot of fun. But I always ask them, because they have a whole different perspective than me. I'm in this every day. I, you know, I think about this all the time. Like, well, what do you guys, you know, what do you see? What would you change? And it's funny because they're a family. There's three girls in that family. They're like, we need more purse storage. Okay. I didn't have a purse storage on my list of things that I was looking at in the boat, but it's like, okay, great. I, you know, I showed my wife this. It's like, look at this. All of you ladies, you have your own drawer. The three of you guys can put all your purse in there, whatever it is. So it's just those little things that, uh, you know, really this boat again, just exceeded all of my expectations in, in those regards. We'll go up bound and we'll come back and do the cabin. But so, I mean, it's just as good as it gets, you know, huge bow seating. This becomes a popular spot to congregate, especially if you're underway on a nice day. I mean, it's so nice. You get a filler cushion here to fill in. So if you prefer the lounging instead of the sitting, we accommodate that so well. Or you can get a nice high gloss uh, teak table. So if you do see yourself doing a little bit more dining, um, you know, that's so convenient. Uh, another feature that I really love goes back to you know, the boating is you've got this bow boarding step here. So if you do get out of high dock uh, or, you know, pull it in forward, the ability with this knife hand rails to have great boarding on the boat. We know that entry and egress is so important on boats. You know, I'm a young guy. I move around pretty well. We know a lot of the customers that are buying this, you're going to have multi-generations on the boat at one time. So, you know, we want to do everything we can to just accommodate whoever it is and make sure that the boat speaks to them and, and does what they're looking for so well. So, again, you know, huge bow seating, just so popular, kind of right within the DNA of the SAB is kind of be able to do everything well. So being able to incorporate the extra large bow rider into this is, is so, so nice. And get a Bahama shade up here. So those days you want to be out of the sun, uh, you know, really does that well. We go back, check out the cabin. You guys can go ahead. You, I'll stay out here and I'll come down so I don't just block your whole view, but, you know, go ahead and check out the cabin. So for us, you know, kind of the DNA of what we were trying to accomplish is just, you know, make this boat very usable again. You know, this boat's perfect for maybe that cruising couple or the young family that's got, you know, some kids. That whole V-birth fills in, but if it's not filled in, it's just, you know, beautiful, great seating, the storage underneath all of that. And then for those of you guys that haven't been downstairs, just seeing the full size king bed, you know, with walk arounds on both sides, unbelievable, you know, really popular. Having the couch uh, where you're able to sit down before you slide in, great, especially on a boat where you know you're dealing with limited headroom. But you gotta go in the head and see the size of the head, right? It's, a lot of times you're trying, I mean, we all are, we're trying to squeeze a lot into, you know, even a 50 foot boat, you're still trying to get as much as you can in the package. But you know, everything we do, it goes back to that usability. We're not there to check box. If, the shower's, you know, too small. The shower's too small. You gotta be able to get in there and turn around and, you know, actually, can, you know, okay, can I wash myself in this shower? Like a person's really gonna use it. So this boat has a true hybrid system in terms of its generator. And that's gonna be the first place I think this makes a lot of sense. And, you know, we've gone to, you know, taking generators completely out of some of our smaller boats. Um, but we know with some customers, you get the range uncertainty, right? Not all of us are used to dealing with electric. It doesn't matter if we've got a great uh, display that tells you how long you got left. You know, our customers, uh, you get a little bit of anxiety. Um, you know, my dad drives an electric car. Well, he came out of the Fort Lauderdale boat show and couldn't find the right charger and stuff. And that was an experience for him. He was like, ah, you know, I'm not sure I'm totally sold on this. Loves it for Orlando, but, you know, traveling. So, you know, as we kind of got experience with that, you know, we developed uh, a hybrid system. So... This whole boat runs off a lithium ion uh, battery system, but then it also has the generator. So it's got a Panda, you know, 5KW diesel generator, 
And you know, through the, the latest technology, that now will kick on when your batteries get down to 20%, automatic. So if you're hanging out and you're boating and you've used up all your power, you're running the grills, you're at the sandbar, you're jamming out, your generator's automatically okay, you're not too many. And then when those batteries get up to 80%, she automatically shuts off. So it's a true hybrid system, but it's done in a way that's very intuitive, very user-friendly. The whole boat is powered on at one time. Um, and I really think, you know, again, that just goes back to, you know, we don't do technology for technology's sake. We do it because we truly believe that this is going to be better for the customer's boating lifestyle. And I wasn't lucky enough to get to go on a photo shoot. I was at a boat show, but, you know, Tyler or Paul, you know, they, they, uh, they used the boat in the Bahamas for, I guess, about six days you guys were there. It's, you know, crossover, did all the marketing, beautiful stuff that you see came back and they said they ran their generator for about three hours. I say they ran it, it automatically kicked on when they ran low on battery power for about three hours but you gotta use the boat in a week and there's plenty of running in that so depending on your boating lifestyle you might use it more if you know if all you're gonna do is go motor to the sand or turn her off but you don't have to worry about it and that's just one of those things that you know i think is so amazing to kind of see where the technology is going and then i think we've really connected the dots in this and made it super uh user friendly so um you know just so excited about this boat um you know again flagships are always fun just to the size of them everything you're able to do but just so proud of the team the way they executed and like i said everything in my opinion you know whether it's the the size or the fit finish or just the beautiful aesthetics from the outside everything exceeded my expectations just a huge kudos to the engineering team for being able to do that but a we'll quick walk through happy to take any questions we got tyler here if you want to talk more in depth about any of the technical stuff um but we're just you know really appreciate you guys being here and uh you know look forward to you know, be able to set up a time to get some of you guys out on the boat, experience on the water in person. Boat shows are great, but this boat is made to be in the water, not on the